Hey there, I'm Hannah, your go-to Excel teacher from Sheet Leveller. And today, I've got a super handy trick for you. Ever had a messy Excel cell with multiple lines of text and wished you could split them neatly into separate columns or rows? Well, you're in luck. I'll walk you through two easy methods to do just that, text to columns and power query. Trust me, once you learn this, it'll save you tons of time. So grab your spreadsheet and let's dive in. First up, let's split our data into separate columns using the built-in text to columns tool. Click and highlight the cells you want to split. Go to the data tab on the ribbon. Click text to columns. Select delimited and hit next. Now this is where it gets interesting. Excel doesn't have a direct option for breaking text based on line breaks but we can manually enter the delimiter using a cool shortcut. Check the box for other and click inside the input box. Press Ctrl plus J. This tells Excel to use line breaks as the delimiter. You should now see a preview showing your data neatly split into separate columns. At this point, we need to choose where to place the split data. If you want to overwrite the original column, just click Finish. If you want to keep the original data and place the split values elsewhere, type a new starting cell, like C2, and then hit Finish. If the new columns don't match the formatting of your original column, use the Format Painter to copy styles over. And that's it. You've successfully split multi-line data into separate columns. But what if you want the data in rows instead? Well, text to columns can't do that. So let's move on to Power Query for the magic. Power Query is an absolute game changer when working with large datasets. The best part? You can use it to split text into either columns or rows. We first want to load our data into Power Query. We do this by clicking anywhere inside your dataset. Go to the Data tab. Click from Table Range Excel will automatically detect your data range. A window will pop up. Just make sure My Table Has Headers is checked and click OK. Boom. Your data is now inside Power Query. If you want to split into columns, just like text to columns, but with more control, click on the column containing your multi-line text. Go to the Home tab. Click Split Column Greater Than By Delimiter. In the Delimiter box, delete anything that's there. Check Split using special characters and select Line Feed. Click OK and Power Query will split the text into columns. To send it back to Excel, click Close and Load and you'll see the split data on a new sheet. Now, if you want to split into rows instead of columns, follow the same steps but make one small tweak. When you go to Split Column by Delimiter, choose Rows instead of Columns. Click OK. And now, your data is neatly organised in separate rows. Click Close and Load to bring the updated table back into Excel. Why Power Query is awesome. One huge advantage of Power Query is that it keeps your data dynamic. Let's say you add a new entry to your dataset. Instead of manually repeating all these steps, all you have to do is go to the Queries and Connections pane. Click Refresh and Excel will automatically update your split data. So if you're working with frequently changing data, Power Query is the way to go. And there you have it. Two simple ways to split multi-line data in Excel. Which method do you prefer? Let me know in the comments. And if this video helped you, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I've got plenty more Excel tricks coming your way. See you in the next video and happy Excelling.